playing is Norman Jaden, who appears to be playing a piano. No time has plot. No plot. Pl eh. <clears throat> Excuse me. No time has passed whatsoever since the last part of this game, so we're going to resume right now. Even though I missed. Whoops. Dang it. Sorry, concentrating. That's interesting. We know very little about Norman at this or er, yes, Norman. Norman at this point. Know You're very little about him. Sir. Thanks. What's the matter, Norman? You look preoccupied, if you don't mind my saying so. Problems with the investigation? Blake is convinced that Mars is the killer. Not you. I thought there was some evidence to that effect. That's true. But it just doesn't make sense. His psychological profile doesn't fit. Neither does the geolocalization. I can't see this father drowning eight victims before kidnapping his own kid. You're right! Mars so there is, is not still the origami hope. Killer. Thank goodness. I'd stake my life on it. Me too. I'm with you, then Norman. Who is? You are. I have the faintest <laughs> fucking idea. <laughs> Maybe you should review the evidence in your possession. That's just what I was thinking of doing. Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. Okay, right now? I'm trying to keep a handle on it, but... That's difficult. It gets more and more difficult. It'll so end up talking. killing you if you're not careful. Talking about the trip, That would be most unfortunate, sir. Alright, so maybe he's at his house, and he's exceptionally wealthy, and that's his personal butler. We're gonna call him Alfred. I have dubbed thee Alfred. Aw, oh, I don't want to be on Mars. Take me back to the waterfall. That was way better. Pause. Alright, so Norman's convinced that Ethan is not the origami killer. Thank God! That was a huge relief. I was putting off believing it as long as possible. Um, because it just... So many things did fit, but then there was there was just one huge portion of it that didn't fit at all. It just doesn't fit his character. I, Anyways, we've already been through that. Let's go ahead and go through the clues and try to figure out who is the origami killer. Environment. How do I... Which one was environment again? This portion of the screen is particularly difficult to... Um, to see in this resolution. There we go. I don't know, for some reason the Mars one felt a little bit aggressive. It felt a little bit forlorn, a little intimidating. Alright. Now, I would love to find out why he thinks that the killer has the profile that he does, being between the ages of such and such, and why he believes it should be male. Well, well. Looks like there's something new. The video recording from near the park on the afternoon Sean Mars disappeared. I doubt there's anything on it, but you never know. Alright, before we look at it, I wanted to, um... Before we look at it, I just want to ask a question that you all should be asking yourselves, and anybody who's playing this game should be asking themselves. Why is the killer doing this? And if we can figure that out, then we can figure out who has a, me um, a motive to fit that reasoning. So we know that the origami killer lays flowers. So we know that the killings are in fact symbolic because of the, um, the orchids, the origami figures. Now what does origami, sim um, 
What does origami symbolize? I, I don't know because I know very little about origami myself. But he's, he's definitely trying to send a message. If we can figure out what that message is, we can figure out who's sending that message and who would want to send that kind of message. But since we don't know anything about Norman's background, we can't match him to any theories that we might come up with about it. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. A Chevrolet model corresponding to the tire prints passed at 1602 heading for the park, when in the opposite direction at 1637. That could fit the time that Sean Mars disappeared. Could it be the killer's car? Well, the killer's car was a Chevrolet. <clears throat> really wish I had HDMI connected right now. Geo analysis. Oh, Chevrolet Malibu. It's the same car. It might not be the same car, but it's the same make and model, at least. Do we know what, uh... Hmm. Tire tracks, right? They should match that car that we saw in the video. Chevrolet Malibu, 83. Okay. Well, so we're narrowing down the type of car, and before we go t back to these origami uh, things... Pity we can't see the driver's face. Okay, well this is what? Chevrolet video the owner, car was Philip stolen. D. Campbell. Let's see. A certain Jackson Neville was suspected of stealing it, but the charges were dropped. Not enough evidence. Okay, so this this appears to be the same make, model, and year of the car tracks that we found. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Of the car tracks that we found at the scene of well, okay, well, where we found the body. What's this? Jackson Retailing Neville, stolen cars, a.k.a. Mad Jack, involved in several cases of buying and selling stolen vehicles. Considered to be very dangerous. This guy might have provided the killer with a car. It's a pretty slim lead, but it's all I have right now. All right. Hey, wait, I'm not done yet. Do you mind? I was still looking at stuff. What's on your mind, Norman? You can tell me about it. I'll listen. What's going on through your- <gasps> ah! oh, Horrifying? One last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in the Oh, no. What is that stuff? Very dangerous. No, don't do it. Norman? It's, it's coming. Tryptocaine. The tube is on the bedside table. All no. I need is to take some. No, and the don't pain do it. Go away. You can resist. I should resist. No, don't do it. This is gonna kill me. I know it will. I can resist. I just need to stay in control and, and do something until it goes away. Wash your face. Um. We need to make him resist? Okay. Good. Uh, this is kind of... kind of scary. Look at him, he's twitching all over. No, don't do it! Don't do it! Norman! Stay with us, buddy. No, 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 come on, come on. Stay over here, stay over here. Focus on your work. Think of something. Think of something else. A shower. A cold shower will cool me down. Alright. Come on, let's go to the shower. Come on. Shower! Shower time! Shower helps with insomnia. It helps with waking people up. Come on. What what do you what's going on? Where's the shower? Come on. Norman, Norman, stay with me. Don't look at that. Come on, into the shower. Is this a shower? I can't even see. No! Don't do it! Fight it! You can fight it! You can fight it. Is this a shower? I can't even see. Come on, come on, come on. I can't. All right, well, we're gonna wash our face then. Ethan, or not Ethan. 
No, 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 no! Stay out of there! Stay! Come on! Freaking A! I'm in control! I am in control! You are not in control. I am in control. This is my character! Come on. Washing your face helps. It's good. Good job. It's so hard to see, guys. It, everything is blurry! I... That looks like it's the shower over there, but I can't get him to take a shower because I everything's white. I can't... Don't you dare. I will slap you if that's what it takes. I can't... <sighs> Alright, well, let's go over here then. Is this shower over here? Uh, it's getting worse, guys. No! No! We need to get rid of it. It's the only way. Throw it. Get rid of it. Stomp it. Oh no, it's in his hand. This is terrible. Why is he seeing this? Don't do it. Flush it down the toilet. Ah, oh, thank goodness. We did it. We did it. It's gone. It will never haunt you again for the rest of this mission. Good job. Feel better? You will. Probably feel terrible right now, but you'll feel better. You beat this thing! Wow, guys, so what is Tryptocaine? That's something that I'd never heard of. Um, it sounds like some type of uh, pain reliever, because, you know, he said, well, pain, relieve the pain. Well, what pain? And why was he hallucinating? And why was he bleeding from his nose? And why was he tripping? And uh, so we know a little, slight, tiny, itsy bitsy bit more. Ludwig Vaughn. I don't know why we got that trophy, but we know a little tiny bit more detox about Norman now, but uh, not too much more. Cool. Unlock some trophies. Well, that's nice. 11, 10 a.m., three and a half, three inches. We are halfway, a little bit over halfway there. Hey, Lauren. Lauren's back in our company. Manfred? Manfred! Manfred! Anybody home? Pause. Alright guys, it occurred to me that uh, we're already at 12 and a half minutes and I don't know how long this mission is going to go. So we're going to go ahead and stop it here and I will see you guys later. Just give me some time and this, uh, I need to end this recording session, take some time to digest everything that's happened. And um, so I will see you guys later.